The CEO of South African firm Paramount Group has said that the Paramount Group is in talks with India's Kalyani Group to expand its manufacturing operations, as many Central Asian, African and Middle Eastern countries have expressed interest in the India-specific modified M4 mine-protected armored vehicles, which is considered the most capable variant of the M4. He also said that the volume demand by its global clients is huge and speed of delivery quality and certification are huge factors in business, due to which Paramount is doubling down on its collaboration with the Kalyani Group, and the Indian facility will also manufacture a range of armoured products that will be exported to international clients. The CEO also added that Paramount Group has a portfolio of over 70 products, and potentially in the future, a third of the Paramount Group's order book could be sourced from the Indian facility. Greek media has reported that Pakistan had approached Greece to sell an unspecified number of its F-16 fighter jets, but the Greek government has rejected Pakistan's proposal, citing the needs of the Greek Air Force, as well as Greeks' friendship with India. The Indian Air Force chief is likely to pay a visit to Greece very soon, which could be a game-changer move for both countries in terms of countering Pakistan and Turkey. The Greek Air Force could share information on Turkish Bayraktar drone, as well as critical information on the relative performance of the Rafale and F-16. Greek analysts have also repeatedly talked about the possibility of integrating the air-launched Brahmos NG missile on its Rafale aircraft. Bharat Electronics Limited has signed a memorandum of understanding with Meslova Systems Private Limited for cooperation in the areas of artificial intelligence and machine learning. The two companies will jointly develop integrate and deploy embedded systems using artificial intelligence and machine learning technologies, for use in air defense systems and platforms for Indian armed forces and also for export markets. Solar Industries has developed an armed hexacopter known as Rudrastra, that has an endurance of 30 minutes that can carry 5 munitions weighing 1 kg each, or a single 5 kg armed payload. The Rudrastra can drop the munitions from a height of 500 meters, with an accuracy of 3 meters at the target end, and it has an effective radius of 20 meters. New Space Research and Technologies is developing a tube-launched variant of Alpha S loitering munition that will have a folding wing structure to fit inside a canister launching system that can be mounted on any vehicle or can be used as a man portable system. The new loitering munition will weigh less than 7 kilograms and will have a maximum speed of 150 km per hour and can carry heat or thermobaric warheads. It will have an endurance of 60 minutes and can be equipped with an electro-optic payload for target identification, conduct intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance missions, as well as target acquisition and engagement of enemy forces. The Indian Navy and Drone Federation of India have joined hands to collaboratively work towards promoting indigenous development and manufacturing and testing of drones counter drone systems and associated technologies for the Navy. A special maritime drone testing site will be established for the Indian drone industry to facilitate faster development and testing of drones in maritime environments, thus enabling development for a host of applications, like maritime patrol, drone landings on moving ships, ship-to-ship -ship deliveries and ship-to-shore deliveries. Prime Minister Modi is all set to lay the foundation stone of a new manufacturing plant of the Tower to Advanced Systems Limited in Vadodara, where the 40C-295 transport aircraft will be manufactured. As per the agreed terms and conditions of the contract, the new Indian manufacturing plant will be up and running by 2025. Airbus will also manufacture 16 C-295 aircraft in an existing plant in Spain, and will start delivery from 2025 onwards. The C-295 will replace the Avro transport aircraft, and might even replace the AN-32, which could result in more orders at a later stage.
Oh, Mark, drop it. <laughs>